whether you're just going out car camping or you're going out to do some bushcrafting or if you're in an emergency situation, cordage can be a very important resource that you have with you out in the field. Uh, I carry a lot of it, uh, you know, 550 cord, Technora, uh, nylon cord, there's all kinds of different stuff that you can carry out there. Uh, storing it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt sometimes. I got a few things I'm going to show you that could make things a little bit simpler. One of the for simplest you. ways to store cordage is to keep it on a card. Uh, I got <clears throat> not too long ago out of uh, from a guy over on Bushcraft USA uh, some old Swiss uh, military cordage. It was out of their kits. One of them's uh, you saw that you saw me video I did on the the jute twine. That's some of it right there. And this is just on a cardboard spool. One of the things that I saw that was really cool <clears throat> that I got was some of this wire, and it's like a bank line almost, um, just some sort of cordage. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it's on this wooden spool, and you carry two of them on one spool. And I thought that's pretty cool, so <laughs> I decided to make a couple out of Kydex. Uh, just some Kydex I had, some OD Green Kydex. Uh, I try to dabble in cheese every once in a while. I'm not very good at it at all, so don't expect any videos on that. Um, there's a lot of guys that are 100 times better than I am, but it's a cool way to uh, store some cordage on here. So I got some wire, some, uh, some of this OD Green nylon cord, some of that waxed jute, some more jute, same type stuff. And this has got some Technora on it. So it fits in your pocket really easy and can, uh, this is more for like emergency use type stuff instead of your day-to-day -day use of cordage. So that works pretty slick, I really like it. In the past, I've also made uh, some wooden implements for storing cordage. Uh, you can roll them up on a spool that you make and just unspool is pretty easy. And there's another kind of the same idea, the flat wind around deal, um, little card type thing just out of a piece of flat wood there. Works pretty good. Kydex is a lot cooler though, I can tell you that much. Um, for storing long pieces of line, I really like this figure eight wrap. Uh, Morris Cohancy, I believe, uh, uses this, and uh, so do some other folks. Uh, so this is not, it's my idea or anything, but it's a cool way to store cordage. I, I keep an eye on which side that I have that I want to pull out, and when you pull it out, this is, I don't usually cut my line when I do this either. This call comes undone, they're great for ridge lines. And to do this, I just start with the end of my line that I want to pull out. I hold my hand flat. I go around my pinky, thumb, pinky, thumb, in a figure eight ma fashion, right? Let's go back and forth, back and forth. Until I get a little bit left. And I know there's other ways to do this, but for me, it's just simple as I just take it and wrap around itself and then go underneath itself. Like I said, it works really good. You can put a a fixed loop on here and then it just pulls out super slick. So it's a pretty, pretty good way to, to store cordage, I think. Another way is the old fashioned daisy chain. If you have several pieces of line that are uh, the same size, a daisy chain works pretty good. We use this a lot in the rescue world too for doing um, webbing, nylon, tubular nylon webbing, and also in the construction world for doing uh, extension cords. They can get a memory when you do it though. All right, so once again, it's an interlocking chain of slip knots. And I have another video on how to do this on the line kit. But uh, to really easy, real quick, I make a slip knot. And then I put a bite through, pull it tight, put a bite through, pull it tight, put a bite through. It's just a seesaw back and forth. To end it all off, and once you get good at this, you can zip it out pretty quick. To end it off, I just take my loose ends, I run through there, and I pull it through. And it keeps it nice and neat and easily stored. So that's a daisy chain. Another cool little deal, this is some Kevlar cord, and this is like stuff that I keep in my pocket. Uh, it's a 200 pound test uh, Kevlar, pretty neat stuff. And a lot of places sell it, Bushcraft Outfitters has it. Uh, you can get it just by the spool like this. Know, five six bucks or 25 foot doesn't burn um, has some pretty neat properties you can actually saw through um, like nylon cuffs or PVC with it so it's pretty cool but it's just a flat little embroidery storage deal so it goes in kits pretty easily too so that's kind of a cool way to store cordage um, a while ago a guy that has a store called Gearward 
uh, kind of introduced me to these spools. These are a bobbin of sort too. Oops. And they undo. And you can just undo your cord like that. Wind it back up. And they pop back around it. Pretty slick. So once again, same type thing. This is some uh, cord that my buddy Kurt made up. He uh, spliced eyes in this for shelters. And you can pull all your shelter stakes out, your shelter tie-out lines at once like that. Pretty slick. So, different ways to store different types of cordage. Uh, try them out, see which one you like best, and uh, put it to use. And as always, practice with it. Because if, if you need it in an emergency situation, the practice really pays off.